Hey guys, welcome back to Going Around. Today we're uh, celebrating the 4th of July with uh, eh, a movie. Uh, Uncle Sam, released in 1996. Uh, basically a movie about a zombie soldier who takes up the costume of Uncle Sam and goes killing people. So, yeah. I'm your host, Jason Massey, and joining me as always... Joanne Massey. Loretta Mooney. Yeah, so let's... Uh, get into this movie uh basically if you've never seen it it's exactly as i described it yeah <laughs> soldier and comes back from the dead yeah puts on an uncle sam costume and, and starts killing people gets to killing <laughs> gets real deep to killing yeah yeah I had a little bit a little bit more in there but um honestly i i expected this to be a leprechaun movie <laughs> you yeah. know what i mean i i figured it was going to be kind of something like that but it was actually a lot better than yeah, it's, it's some of the movies just we based watched. off the premise. It's better than what you're expecting, but it's yes. also not as good as like it, a normal horror movie yes. could have been. Yes, yeah. exactly. Because this was obviously like a very niche movie where it's like, let's, yeah, it's just a Fourth of July horror movie. Yeah, but it was better than I expected it to be. Yeah, yeah. the kills were definitely better than uh, I originally would have thought of it. Because before you guys watched, I had already seen the movie. So I was excited that like we were going to talk about this movie because it's like, it, it it equal parts both good and bad. So, yeah. I don't know. It was better than Easter Bunny Kill Kill. So. Oh, good God! <laughs> nothing, nothing could be worse than that. <laughs> Not even Thanksgiving, which I'm really excited for you guys to finally <laughs> watch that for Thanksgiving. But he's been honest about that for what a year now. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, yeah, this. This movie was real weird. Like, I liked the... Uh, I kind of liked the idea of, like, the killer, where it's like, oh, a zombie soldier who... Uh, it, apparently, through dialogue, you find that even when he was alive, he was not the best of people. Yeah. yeah. I thought the kid was a brat, though. The kid yeah. wanted to weird. smack him. Like, especially in the beginning of the movie, he was a yeah. real asshole. Yeah, he was. Especially to his teacher when he's like, oh, yeah, you're a coward. Yeah. yeah. Well, he was kind of like that with his mother, too. Yeah. 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 He had a real attitude about yeah. it. Yeah. That, that kid, like, at the very beginning, I was like, is this kid going to be the killer or something? Because he <laughs> seemed like freaking weird. Yeah. Like, really weird. He, he looked weird. Like, Well, you know, I think the, the whole end part of it kind of made it seem like maybe the spirit of his uncle jumped into him hmm. and he was going to turn murderous I Who guess knows? or something <laughs> I mean that's kind of what I got from the ending of it that, I thought the another really weird part was his friend yeah the yeah we like had no background yeah. Yeah. On, so, on this kid like at all from like uh, context clues in the movie you kind of like learn that they were friends and then at the last 4th of July festival they had they had a fireworks mishap that apparently blinded scarred and him blinded and, him yeah yeah, yeah. And gave and him some, powers like, to talk to people <laughs> yeah he had like this weird. really weird connection the, the but scene I think <laughs> maybe I think maybe the connection that was with him and the um, uncle was that they knew each other prior because they were they the two kids had been friends to begin with before the accident so i don't know i know it was kind of weird i don't know yeah, it was weird. it was odd like the the first scene where uh they interact where the kids just sitting there and uncle sam just walks up and just caresses his caresses face while talking to him. Face. i was like this is fucking weird, weird. yeah and like in, in in a normal context like wouldn't the people around him have Be seen like, that? Yeah, because wait, like you why just are you see touching this yeah, child you just that see way. This blind uh, wheelchair child sitting there, and then a guy and Uncle Sam just holding his face, whispering to him. It's like, and then also the kids screaming, "Who are you? Who are you?" And yeah. nobody Doesn't, paid any attention. Yeah, no one cared whatsoever. Yeah, I think I think the people in the town were the real villains of the story. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they're real scumbags. Yeah, like yeah, a the, lot of them were. What was it? The mayor was he yeah. the mayor or council? He was or something? something. He was trying to get elected yeah. for something. Oh, I couldn't no, that figure was, out. That wasn't the mayor. The mayor no. was the other one. The mayor was the dude with the big hat, and he was bald. 
Yeah. Yeah, I'm thinking about the one that kept putting the glasses on. Glasses or no glasses? Glasses or no glasses. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I was really happy he died. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nobody liked him. Did you hear? Did you hear everybody like as yeah. he was walking yeah. into the festival? We're not. We're not voting Shrek. for you. Yeah. <laughs> Love when he goes yep. to says, and she's like, "Ain't got my vote." Yeah. <laughs> like wow this whole town hates this guy yeah. and yeah. we had no background on him either no nope. no nope. just glasses just, or no glasses yeah. <laughs> just all we know is that people hate him yeah so uh also like the the dude that his mom was banging the sheriff or whatnot like the deputy dude that was his that was his aunt, aunt. his aunt was with the sheriff and that was his mom was with like the guy that worked for the law firm Randall, oh, Randy, yes. whatever his name yes. was. Yes, yeah. and they both died. Yeah, they both died. <laughs> oh, Ralph. I don't know. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no, yeah, that was uh, the Sam's dude who wife. basically full on uh, admitted to them that like he knows how to cheat people out of money. Yeah. And then yeah. And the, even the kid was like, so you cheat? And he's like, I'm just smarter than they are. <laughs> it's like, that's... Kinda lo- it kind of it kind of seemed like he was... The, the, the guy that came back and was killing people was taking out like the scum of the town. Yeah, he at the same time he was killing all the assholes and like yeah. dicks in town. So it's like eh I know. He didn't know. kill like too many like innocent people. I don't think he killed a single person that wasn't a dick. Yeah. Well, what I don't about think... the the girl that was doing the cooking? The one that was went out to take the go to, uh smoke a joint? Yeah, she and then died. she can't. Yeah, yeah she he did. fried her. He fried her face on there. Oh, and He's, this he she opened the grill and the face was on there, and he took the back of her head and right on he, the fucking yeah. grill. He killed her. He now, now the kids. That that, out. I don't remember three, that. The three boys that he killed, the two in the cemetery, oh, and then the one yeah. he took the head. Oh man, I tell you yeah, what, they were <laughs> jerks, assholes in the middle of the night, uh, spray painting swastikas on graves. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, pretty much. All of them, except for maybe the girl. Yeah. All of them seem to be like either troublemakers or uh, corrupt people. Or what about or the guy that was originally in the Uncle Sam costume? Yeah, he had no. Uh, he was a perv, so I guess yeah, that he was means a perv. Remember, because the the girl found him like on his oh, stilts yeah, yeah. there, Looking watching her, her window. So yeah. with with scenes like those, I always just don't understand how they can be that oblivious. Where it's like you have a wide ass open window. It's like don't you? And you've got a guy on stilts in an Uncle Sam costume. Yeah, that's kind of recognizable. In, like yeah, you looking would right directly just at out of your window. peripheral, you would see. Oh, there's a head in my window yeah. staring at me. <laughs> his whole body was in the window it wasn't just yeah. like his head yeah it's like i feel like if i was a sexy female lady <laughs> uh and we all know I, you are. <laughs> yes that's what i identify as but uh <laughs> if i was uh like coming out of the shower and i was gonna get dressed in my room and whatnot and be naked when the first thing you do is like make sure oh i should close that window yeah because, I mean, you're you know, even on the second story or and it blind. faces the road. Yeah, a curtain or a blind or something. something. I guess maybe people that, okay, we, we live here in Arizona. We do not have two-story homes. <laughs> so maybe people that live back east that have two-story houses feel maybe, comfortable. Yeah, because it's like, oh, it's too high for them to see Because it's too high anything. for people to see. But she was right next to that window. You could see her even on the ground floor. True. Plus, the thing was, the window faced the street, so it's like anyone walking by could just look up and see you True. in the window. True. But maybe be just because they're used to it and they just yeah. don't think... I don't know. I don't it's know. Like, I would feel more comfortable if it faced like like the woods or something. Like if you had like a house near the woods and, like, or even it faced the, backyard. the woods or the backyard. Yeah. Like, I'd With feel more fenced, comfortable with you that. know? Yeah. 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 I don't know. I just, I'm just throwing that out there. Just I think in they case. just had to put boobs in there. <laughs> yeah. 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 The gratuitous nudity yeah. that all horror movies are known for. Yeah, they're just like, we gotta get boobs in here somehow. <laughs> yeah, we gotta, get our, we gotta meet our boobs quota. <laughs> I don't know. Overall, though, I don't think it was that bad of a movie. Yeah. It I wasn't mean, bad, but it wasn't good. Yeah. I enjoyed the kills, more or less. Like, I enjoyed how he did it. Yeah, because he did it different like every single time. Yeah, I, I thought at first he was going to be a very one-liner kind of thrown out villain, kind of like Gremlin, especially at the very beginning where he kills the two soldiers and he's like, oh, don't worry, it's just friendly fire. Yeah. And I thought that was going to be like throughout the entire thing. 
But it wasn't. Yeah. Especially when he killed the guy on stilts. He's like, I hope you got an eye, fool. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, great, so that's going to be this kind of movie. And then he spends the rest <laughs> of the movie killing people silently. Yep. Yeah. And you would think, like, when the that one soldier, the black guy, went walking by yeah. him and they, like, looked in each other's eyes. I His thought he was eyes were yellow. His eyes were yellow. How do you not Who notice that? yellow <laughs> yeah. eyes? I was like... And then you can see like the the the, the charred yeah and, like the black skin and stuff around it like because he was wouldn't you be like there's something wrong with this guy like, yeah yeah I don't know yes he was like he was the, the best black, character in the movie. his acting was horrible though like yeah. it's all back and forth of like oh let me be nice to this kid no you're not fucking going in the army and then yeah. oh I gotta be nice to this kid it's like what the hell yeah. His acting was. Like, but he was the most sympathetic character because uh, everyone else was like a piece of shit. So yeah, <laughs> it doesn't take much to be best character when everyone around you is terrible. Maybe it's just the town because they all seem to be pretty. Yeah. Pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a town for bad people. <laughs> I don't know. I wouldn't recommend this movie unless uh, you already had yeah. it, somebody if, had it. <laughs> <laughs> if if yeah. you like very um, uh, niche horror movies that like you probably won't see too often, maybe you would enjoy yeah. Uncle Sam. Yeah. Like, if you love like kind of uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Corny? Um, yeah. Corny, uh, very uh, not too serious horror movies then you'd probably enjoy this. Yeah, because I mean it wasn't, I, he did kills but you know they kind of showed like as he was killing they didn't really like show a whole bunch of stuff. Mm -hmm. I mean it's like you just see the head fall off you didn't really see the cleaver like go through the guy's head so it's uh, not real gory so maybe people that are little turned off by the whole lot of gore this might be like an in-between type yeah the type goriest of movie. kill in the movie would be when he kills the deputy as the deputy's falling down the hill and he pulls up the flag and it impales him yeah pretty much yeah yeah that's the goriest part like you just see like it's sticking out with all the blood and guts and that's basically the most horror you see in the movie yeah pretty much that's yeah. all right not something i would go out of my way to watch again but well, yeah. no, but it wasn't <laughs> it's, the worst. It's definitely a movie you watch once just to say you've watched it and to, yeah. like, see yeah. what Uncle Sam is. Yeah. 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 So I think that's going to do it for Uncle yeah. Sam. There's really not much to say about this one. Yeah. So what's the next holiday after this? I don't know. <laughs> oh, we're doing one in August for Meryl... Meryl Street. Street, right? Meryl Streep's birthday. I think it's in August. Okay. August thirtieth. That will be our next holiday. It's not technically a holiday, but we don't really have any like holidays in August. Yeah. So I'm making it a holiday. <laughs> okay. So we'll do that yeah. one next for but our the next, next holiday. Next one. holiday is Halloween, more or less, right? No, we have other ones. I think we is have like, what, Labor Day. Labor Day. Labor Day. Coming yeah. around and. I don't know what the hell we do for Labor Day, but we can figure something out. Labor Day. We'll find something. Columbus Day. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure there's plenty of horror movies about Columbus. Oh, I yeah. know. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. we got, yeah, Labor Day, Columbus Day, and then I think we're into Halloween after that, and then Thanksgiving. 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 Look at his eyes light up. <laughs> I'm so happy. We're going to get there. It's I can't wait so for good. Christmas. Yeah, there's Christmas a lot horror of Christmas story. horror movies. Christmas horror story is so good. I know. <laughs> I every every year I always recommend it to everyone. I'm like, if you like Christmas movies or you like horror movies, watch this one because yeah, it's really that good. That one's really good. <laughs> it even has um, what's the dude, mm -hmm. the guy from Star Trek. Oh, William Shatner. William Shatner. Thank yeah, you. He's yes, it. it has William <laughs> Shatner. Lots in of it. dudes from Star Trek. You gotta say. I'm like yeah. like. Who? <laughs> which, yeah, true. which era? Which <laughs> yeah, because there's so many different ones. Mm. Yeah, I, I for some reason just blanked on his name. I kept thinking Sean for some reason. I was like, <laughs> no. Yeah. So uh, looking forward. We got a lot of good stuff. But uh, yeah. So that's gonna do it for uh, today's episode. Uh, so yeah, like, subscribe, click the links below. Tell us what you think about Uncle Sam and other uh, horror movies. 
maybe even have better ones. But or if you have recommendations, it's always nice too. Like Labor yeah. Day, what are we gonna do for Labor Day? Yeah. So if you have anything, hit us up. <laughs> but uh, yeah, besides that, uh, just keep googling.